Hey, it's the Linux Talks again today, and we're, we are going to be going over how to make a virtual machine. And so you're going to want to install Oracle VirtualBox, and so once you install that, we're going to uh, run it. So you'll uh, come up with this screen right here. You won't have all these things on the side. Uh, so first thing first, we're going to set, create a new virtual box. And for this video, we're going to be installing um, Linux. So I'm going to type Linux in here, and um, it's it already pops up the um, the logo and the thing. So if you have a different Linux versions, you can change that um, preferably. So we're going to be doing uh, Arch Linux. So I'm just going to type that in there and you can see the Arch logo is right there. So here's the memory size. This is how much RAM you want to dedicate to this virtual machine. You don't want to go too low or you'll be slow. It'll be, the virtual machine will be slow and laggy and you don't want to be too high or uh, your computer can lock up and stuff like that. So this is good. Um, it's about one fourth of my, I have four gigabytes of um, RAM, so this is a good size, about one fourth of my total memory. And we're going to create the hard disk. So a good size is eight gigabytes, but if you want to be safe and you want to be able to install stuff and work around the file system, you're going to want to go around 16. So we'll do create, and it'll ask us to uh, change the gigabytes in the next step. And so hard disk file, we're going to do virtual disk image next. And then we're, you have these two options. So dynamically allocated, um, as it fill, dynamically allocated means as it fills up, it will create. As you create files or as it needs space, it'll keep adding more space to it until it gets to the end. But when you do fixed size, it gives you those the full size, the maximum size. So you can see it may take, and it takes longer to create, but it, it uh, makes your virtual drive uh, faster. So we'll do dynamically allocated because we don't have enough time to do the fix size. And we're going to name our hard disk file Arch Linux and make our our, uh, ver our drive about 16 gigabytes. That's a good amount. Alright, 16.3. Now I'll just do 16. Let me erase this. 16. Now we'll cre click create. And see, we can see this uh, Arch Linux has just popped down here. And now we're going to start that. And you should see this screen right here. So this is looking for your um, hard disk file or your ISO file. So we'll click this folder right here. And it automatically took me where our, my previous uh, ISO files were. So I'm going to install Black Arch, which is an Arch Linux. So I click on the ISO image double click it and it'll load it in there. So we'll click start and I'll maximize this real quick. Um, and you can even uh, make it full screen mode. So we'll switch to full screen mode and you can see now we're at the boot menu of the OS. So this is the virtual drive, uh, our virtual machine and uh, as you can see you can run uh, start your operating system from there. So thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and check out some other videos. Goodbye.